All right, that's me again, Mikey Pipes. Look at this big water man. Inch and a half. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Thank you, thank you. I got Steven, and I got my leak defense system here. And we're gonna install that this morning. Easy peasy. We're gonna put it on this horizontal line right here. Good thing we have power nearby, so we should be good to go. Get this thing done. What's great about the leak defense system is that it's a self-contained unit. You know, it is not like the water cop system with, when you have to have sensors all over the place, right? Oh, man. Um, and which means maintenance as well. Mm -hmm. You got batteries to change unless you get, you know, uh, a remote sensor that is wired to power and then more confusing. So see, once you open up that box and let's sh show the people what's going on inside this box. Peek inside. So inside here, we have an inch and a half lead-free check valve. I took the liberty and put some fittings that we're going to use to assemble this inside the box. I got an inch and a half press female adapter. I have another ball valve in case I needed that, which I don't because there's one right over there. All right, uh, this is the control. Uh, One-handed mic. All right, put that off to the side. There's another male adapter. And here is our leak defense system. And that little thing right there, that little probe, is what senses flow and automatically turns off the water if there's an issue. Pretty cool, don't you think? All right, so we're gonna set this thing up and uh, get this thing rock, rock and rolling. Mm-hmm. Undream pipe. Mm -hmm. hey, you guys thought I didn't use deburring tools. Look at that. And look at that. Look. Tell me that ain't gross. And check that out. There's a water filter. <laughs> What's in it? Water. <laughs> There's the filter in the corner. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> wow. Wow. And look at that. It's gross. It's all the iron in the water. It's, oh, disgusting and gross. All right. Let's get this bad boy in. Disregard that. Let's um. Let me check if it's all. It's all the way in. Oh. Is it on? Hmm? Yeah. It's okay. On. Go. Ten seconds. Twenty seconds. Look at that. Done. All right. So let's take a look at the completed installation. Here is the LDS, the leak defense system. This is our inch and a half copper uh, water, domestic water line coming in. I used a inch and a half press by male adapter. I used the LDS supplied inch and a half check valve, which is pointing that direction. I use a inch and a half by I think three by three brass nipple. This is the, the valve assembly itself. There's our sensor. And this was 
marked as a vertical installation. So I'm gonna try to show you guys real quick. If it's the wrong orientation, that little nipple right there, you see a little thing right, a little notch right there, a little indentation? That needed to be rotated 90 degrees because it was there before. So even though it says must be vertical, I moved the flow sensor to there, so now we're good. And then coming out, I have an inch and a half female, sorry, pressed by female adapter. I ran my wire across here, you know, I took the uh, staple gun, got the wire there, to an electric panel there. They're going to have to fix that, make sure that's nice and secure, but <laughs> it is what it is here. And I have my wireless controller, which needs power, by the way, right here. So there you have it. And we're going to just check out just some settings, my away settings. Two minutes at 10%. Standby which means no, um, it's not gonna monitor flow. And then we have home. 10%, 30 minutes. We're gonna change this to 20%. That easy, look at that. So if you're interested in one of these, reach out to us. Uh, most homeowners insurance companies will pay um, up to $5,000 to supply and install one of these in your house. So you'll get full reimbursement from your insurance company, depending on your carrier, and also depending if you had a previous water loss. This customer recently had a water loss, and their homeowner's insurance insisted that they install this leak defense system. And in my opinion, far superior than uh, Dy Dynaquip's WaterCop and WaterCop Pro. Far easy, zero maintenance, piece of cake, easy peasy, and it's a fast installation for your plumber. And if you have a water filter, <laughs> do yourself a solid and put a filter in there. Don't just do that when the water pressure is low. You saw it. Look at this. This is what I'm, I'm leaving this there as an example to the customer. This is what's inside your pipes, right? I should put an arrow. I should put an arrow. Here's what you need the sharpie. This is what's inside your inside your 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 uh, copper water lines. I'm going to write that right now. Cover up the ears. All right. In celebration of 5,000 subscribers, I am doing something special. And let me give you guys another hint. We're going to utilize a bender, some 3 8 copper, and maybe, just maybe, the 6-inch PVC. And I just got, let's check my mail. Got back to the shop. This is retarded. Look what Yelp sent me. Right? <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is some kind of joke? It's a sticker. What's up with this? I'm not even on Yelp. Anyway. Bender. Three copper. Some PVC. Let's get some thoughts what you guys think I'm making.